one of the main concerns I have is, is I'm going in for a, a knee replacement, and if I need more uh, pain medication, I won't be able to get it. David Raines became worried when he realized his license was set to expire on the same day as his scheduled surgery, and he needs a valid ID to get the pain medication. He says he can't just take care of his problem online because of his age. Uh, because I'm over 70. They're still saying I have to come in to the office. Steve Gordon is the California director of DMV Services. He says most people can take care of their needs through the DMV's virtual office, but acknowledged some will fall through the cracks. If you still need to come into the office for a particular transaction, real ID is one of them. A new driver's license is another. And there's a couple other transactions that are just unique, like a driving test. You have to come into the office to do. Those are going to have to wait, unfortunately, until our offices are reopened. The office has sent out license extensions for people like David. If you're 70 and above, we've sent you a letter with an extension. That, along with your current driver's license, will show that you have an effective license through the end of May. But according to David, the problem he's having is, it says right at the top of his extension, not a valid identification. He's worried about his ID status. I, I called a gum shop and he goes, what are you, crazy? I'm not going to prison for five years. And, and the pharmacies, oh opioids right now and any kind of uh, narcotic? No. I reached out to local gun stores. Some confirmed they would take the extension and ID. Others said they wouldn't. I think someone just didn't think it through. I don't think they realized that there would be people without an ID.